Today we will see how to delete a node in a linked list and there is a trick here that you are not given pointer to the head of the list. If you are given a pointer to the head of the list and you are given a node or node pointer, what you can do is that you start from head, start traversing the list using this next pointer and when you find that the given node matches with the current node, you keep track of one previous node also. So once you find reach that node to be deleted, you make this previous next point point to the next node. So this node is bypassed. So now when uh, somebody traverses this list, uh, he or she will start from here, its next will come here and 4 and then null. So this 2 will never be printed and it will not be part of this list anymore. And you can optionally free the memory occupied by this. But here this head is not given, you are just given pointer to this. So you don't have access to the previous node. So you cannot make the next of previous point to the next of the node to be deleted. So let's see how we can achieve this. So here let's say we want to delete this node 3. This is the node to be deleted. Let's call it n. So here what we have to do, uh, instead of deleting this node, this is our target node to be deleted. So the list should become 1, 2, 4, 5. 3 should be gone, bypassed. So instead of deleting 3, here we will delete next node. Since we have access to all the node after this current node, since we are given pointer to this node. So what we will do, we will copy the contents of this next node to this node and then delete this node using the same trick that is make this next point to its next. So let's see how we can do that. So node next equal to n dot next. So this is the next. And next n dot val equal to next dot val. So what will happen? This will now be holding 4 instead of 3. So we have now 1, 2, 4, 4, 5 and null. So this is the state after this line. Next what we will do, next we have to make this pointer point to the next of next equal to next dot next. So what will happen after this? It will be 1, 2, 4 and this is n, this is next. We have made n dot next equal to next dot next. So next dot next is 5. So 4's next becomes 5 and 5 and this another 4 is also pointing here. So this is next and this is n. Now we can, uh, now we will, this. if this is the head, head is unchanged. So now if somebody traverses this list, what will be printed? Uh, we print the list using or traverse the list using next pointer. So 1 is the head, its next is 2, its next is 4, its next is 5, its next is null. And uh, this is the list now. So this is bypassed and it's not used. And in C++ we can even uh, delete this to free the memory. So this node is also deleted as well. So let's write the code for this in C++, Java and Python. It's a very simple code. The trick is here to copy the contents of next node and delete the next node. And there are some conditions given that the linked list always have two elements at least. All the nodes values will be unique. The node, uh, the deleted node will not be tail. So, so you don't need to do the boundary checks. You can straight away write your logic here. and then we can delete this next 
to free the memory occupied by that node. Now let's run it. So it's list node, not node. And this works, so let's submit. And the solution is accepted. Now we will do the same thing in Java. And the solution is accepted in Java as well. Finally, let's see Python code. And it's accepted in Python as well. So what is the time complexity here? Time complexity is order one. Since you just uh, copy the contents of next node to the current node and then change the next pointer of current node. And uh, space complexity is also order one since we are not using uh, any space of the order of uh, the size of linked list. We are just using a temp node and that is O of 1. So O of 1 in terms of time and space. 